Hello and welcome to part three of parallel and transformer series. In this example, or in this uh, video, I'll talk about two examples. One, so basically in both examples, we have different impedances. So two transforms are in parallel, but they have different impedances, same ratios. Then case one or example one, both transforms have the same KVA or MVA. Case two or example two, both transforms have different KVAs or MVAs. So transformer one is 22.4 MVA, 6% impedance. Transformer two is 22.4 MVA, 8% impedance. Transformer one and two are connected in parallel and they're serving a load of 42 MVA. So basically you would think about it like I showed in previous. So you have transformer one, you have transformer two, you know, and they're connected. So, and you have a load, you know, so 42 MVA. You know, you might have different feeders. I'm just showing one, but just for illustration purposes. So transformer one, each transformer is rated 22.4 MVA. So if I apply the equation I showed in part one, then uh, basically this equation here, and just plug in the numbers, I get transformer one will share, so the out of this load in here, 42 MVA, transformer one will have to carry 24 MVA. And notice transformer one only rated 22.4 MVA. So transformer one in this case will be overloaded. If I do the same thing for transformer two, then transformer two will carry 18 KL, sorry, MVA. So 18 MVA is less than 22.4 MVA. So, so, so one thing to note in this case, so the rated capacity of this substation, you know, transformer one and two is 44.8 MVA and the load is 42 MVA, which is 93.75%. So, so under this, you know, loading, which is less than the capability of both transformers combined, transformer one already loaded 6.6% .6 above its rating. So you can imagine if you loaded if the load was increased to 44.8 MVA, transformer, transformer one loading will get even worse. And tra while transformer two is only loaded 80%, 80% of its rating. And the key difference here is really impedance. So you can see how when you have different impedances, the impact they could have, you know. So tr while transformer two is only loaded 80%, transformer one is already loaded 6.6% .6 over its rating. While we're only at 93.75% loading of the entire station. So impedance plays a very important role. So in this case, obviously, you have to decrease the load or you have to match the impedance or you have to change the transformer. You have to do something. Basically, you can't uh, parallel these two transformers in this case. So now we'll do the case with we still have different uh, impedances, same ratio, but now different KVA or different MVA. So transformer one, it has a rating of 14 MVA, 6% impedance. Transformer two has a rating of 22.4 MVA, 8% impedance. Both connected in parallel to serve a load of 
32 MVA. So if we apply the same equation here, plug in the numbers, I get transformer 1 will carry 14.55 MVA, which slightly exceeds this rate in 14 MVA. So transformer 1 will be overloaded, uh, overloaded. And notice the total capability of both transformers combined is 36 points. 4 MVA. So at 32, which is way less than 36, I'm already overloading transformer 1. So so at 80, 88% loading of the capability of both transformers, transformer 1 is already overloaded. So if I apply the same equation to transformer Two, I get 17.45. Uh, yeah, sorry, MVA. So transformer two is not overloaded. So while you know the total capability of this substation, you know, transformer one plus transformer two is 36.4 MVA, and the load is only 87.9%. Of the total capability, I'm already overloading transformer one, 3.9 3, uh, 3 percent above its rating. In other words, if you increase, if this load goes up, you know, even more, transformer one will be overloaded even more. So since the impedances are different, transformers cannot be loaded to the loading of 32 MVA, you know, otherwise you're going to damage transformer 1 if it sustains that overload for a long period of time. So hopefully this video showed you that kind of gave you an illustration of importance of, you know, Knowing how the things to keep in mind when you connect transforms in parallel, you know, like you know, if you when you have impedances are different, obviously, the, you know, you want to make sure that you don't overload any or both transformers. That's very important. Even if the loading is still less than the total capability of both transformers, you know, combined. Thank you and have a great day.